Either rhetoric influenced people to come here or it didn't. And if it did, Republicans did it. The rhetoric you're talking about is under this administration, not the last administration. Border is open is a troll truism. What's up, Michael? Hey, how you doing? What's going on? What's your take? So I'm new to your stream. Um, used to seeing uh, Jaden's inflammatory uh, backgrounds. So I figured I'd come in and chime in for a little bit. Inflammatory? I think not. Anyways, what's going on with your take? I think that the current administration has caused our southern border crisis. What? No way. How? 100%. How'd they do that? Just, just the perception of their administration has caused it. There might not be anything on paper. There might not be a policy. There might not be, you know, anything. Right. Right. Like, couldn't I just say that with anything? Couldn't, couldn't I just say it was actually going to be more people that came to the country, but less did because of the perception? No. Why wouldn't I be able to say that? Then we're just at an impasse. You say one thing, I say another. There's no objective truth. I think if anything, if you're going to make that claim that it's the perception, then I can blame the Republicans, correct? If, because if, the if Republicans down, created, but could I not create that perception? The Republicans created the perception that the border was open, right? So I I'm could blame the Republicans. The I am talking about the people coming up from Central and South America. If you went and polled them, I guarantee you it would be overwhelming the amount of people that feel like they have a better chance to get in because of the administration. It's a purely I, a populum. I think that's probably true, but I could make the argument then, if you could make that argument, that the Republicans created that trope. The Republicans' no, I, incessant no. yelling that the border is open caused people to believe that they could come here. The Republicans' uh, draconian policies on how people were treated at the border caused people to come here. I could make no, that no. argument then, right? No, 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 because the Trump administration had a a a pretty substantive <clears throat> stance on the the opposition of illegal immigration. People what what knew is it. the substantive stance? P people knew it. People knew what stance, how the administration people knew. felt. People knew. If you what went and know? asked them, I'm mocking you. What did they you know? If you went and asked them. If you went and asked the people coming in from the southern border, they would believe that they would have a better chance to get in under the administration. Right, that's an appeal ad populum. That's not right. an argument for policy that doesn't address any truths in the matter. Sure, sure it does. So if your you're argument, saying if though, you ask right. enough people and they answer in the affirmative, that doesn't give me a clear-cut picture as to whether sure or not that's true. It, it, it just listen, gives me how they feel. Listen, it was so believable that Kamala had to go on TV and, and look like an idiot saying do not come right so do could not, not, not right right so how is that not the republicans fault for saying that the border was open the republicans have a pretty hard stance on this uh, right it's but they have just per persist right they've had an illegal stance they've had a despicable stance they've had a stance that literally is going to get the fucking lever pulled them on so they can go straight to hell like, that's the stance that they've had. So if you're saying that, well, people believe that they could come here and that they would be able to get in, couldn't I say, wouldn't it make more sense because Kamala's already came out and said, don't come here, that Republicans are going, the border's open, the border's open, the border's open, that that has influenced people to believe that that was true? Yes, but if the border was secure, it wouldn't be an issue. So now it's not the perception part. It has to do with border security. No, it has to do with both. So w then focus on one. So it, either that Listen. has merit, which is the Republican Party didn't influence people to come here, that it was the Democrats. Either that has merit you know, or it doesn't. Yes, you can't bounce true. between. Right. Hold on, hold on. Here we you go with the bounce Martin off, Bailey. You that, can't that, bounce off the argument. Hold on a second. Wait a second. You can't bounce off that argument and then turn around and go, well, it's not the Republicans' fault for saying the border's open. Either rhetoric caused people to come here or we ignore it it's not a factor rhetoric the, the rhetoric the rhetoric you're talking about is under this administration not the last administration so but yes, by republicans yes yes but it's under this administration right but republicans 
persistently got on to Fox News, persistently got on the media and said the border was open. What they're saying is true. They're if your the argument, truth. so then they're responsible for the rhetorical side of people coming here. Outside of all of the during physical this stuff. During this administration, maybe you can make that argument. What is difficult, the fact what is of, difficult about this? You're telling me this that the perception, the you're telling me that the perception of people coming here is that that's why they came here. Because their perception said the border yes. was open, right? Yes. Then I could just turn around and say, well, they perceive that because the Republicans told them it was true. And that could have been stopped if the border was actually secure. The de that's irrelevant to what we're talking about. This is a Mott and Bailey fallacy. That's irrelevant right. to what we're talking about. Your argument is crystal clear that the rhetoric caused people to come here. The other yes, one can 100%. be a factor, but you can't deflect off of that talking point to say, well, this other thing. No, either rhetoric influence people to come here or it didn't it did. and if it did republicans did it under this administration the republicans the republicans water. did that though and i wouldn't even I would just like to know the numbers on the border have been stronger than they ever were under trump's administration these last three months and still they're calling it an open yeah. border so no matter what degree of border security we implement, that narrative is still going to exist as long as a Democrat's yeah, president. That's, that is probably true because it's an election. Year, it is so true. It, I, I don't doubt that. What you're, doing is, what you're doing is called a Mott and Bailey fallacy, by the way. I, I don't know who the hell that is. but I'll It's a, Ma it's it's a Mott and Bailey stronger, fallacy. Yeah. It's you have a weak argument and you have a strong argument. Your weak argument is that rhetoric caused people to come here. The problem is that doesn't work because Republicans made sure that everybody thought the border was open. So if your yes, argument but, is but, but, right, listen, but you but can't, Republican... and then you turn around when I try and pin you down on this argument and you go, well, it also, it, it actually has to do with the fact that they're not securing the border, that the border's open. Which isn't a strong <laughs> argument. It's a troll truism, which is and when a Mott and, Bale, Mott and Bailey fallacy is usually what you revert to. The troll but truism is the strong argument. The They're speaking the truth under this administration on what is happening. What, of what course are they, they're what, not going to say. Yeah, but you Trump's can't. President. You just told me that there, you can't point to any policies. You told me that when you came in here, yes, that you couldn't yes, point they, to any policy, any single policy that would do it. And now, and then you went on to say, well, people perceived that they could come here. So I pointed out that it was the Republicans. Yes. And now you're saying, well, no, yes. we can't even point to policy about the border being open. You're saying Correct. it's, it's I, circular, right? Listen to what I'm saying for a second before you fucking interrupt me. It's circular. You're no, you're not, no, you don't. You're I saying do. you're, listen, or I'm Let's just mute you since you're having a real fucking problem there. You're saying that it's rhetoric. That's why they're here. And then when I point that it's rhetoric, you go, well, I, it can't be that. It's also because the border was open. But you're telling me you can't give me a single policy of the border being open. So in other words, it's just a fucking signal loop. The whole thing. I can't give you policies of there being an open border, but it's rhetoric that there's open border and that rhetoric can't be blamed on Republicans. It must be blamed on the Democrats for the open border that I can't give you policies for. Yes. <laughs> Get the fuck out.